<laughs> oh, no, no. Good morning, neighbors. We are having a little pillow fight. <laughs> Get off of me! Get off of me! Where is your shirt? Where? This is the majority of my day. Oh, my hair! They can see my hair! <laughs> We're just having a little bit of fun this morning and uh, gonna do some cleaning up. I don't know, we'll, we'll squeeze in an adventure probably this afternoon. That didn't last long. Speaking of cleaning up, if you remember, we blew up all these balloons and just filled up Henry's room with them. <laughs> They're still just hanging out. It's kind of time to like get rid of them because he doesn't really play with them as much anymore. But I know if I get rid of all of them all at once, he's gonna get really mad. So I'm gonna try today to kind of just like slowly get rid of like a little bit at a time, so. I realized besides doing some cleaning today, I, I want to focus on uh, learning activities with Henry today. I've realized since we've been so busy the past week and a half and busy like cleaning and stuff, I'm like, you know what? I really want to invest some good time with Henry. Okie dokie, welcome to... Okie dokie, let's do that again. Today we are going to be learning about dinosaurs. What is your favorite dinosaur? The one that's just sitting right in front of you? This one, the Megalosaurus. Megalosaurus is famous for having been the first dinosaur to be scientifically described and named. It's cool. Which one of these is a Stegosaurus? Yes! You got it! It does have spikes on its back. You did it! That one? That one is called the, I need to figure out the pronunciation. Parasaurolophus. 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 It means duckbill. Which of these is the Ankylosaurus? A. Okay. A bone on Yes, the Ankylosaurus has the bones on his tail. Can you find one with bones on his tail? I want that one. Yeah, you got it. Here you go. Okay, put it in your pile. Can you find the T Rex? Really big T-Rex, can you find it? Yeah, right, right here. Yes, you got it! Do you want to keep doing dinosaurs or do you want to learn something new? Um, no. You want to learn something new? Yeah. Okay, let's move on to something new. From one to two. Okay, go two all the way down to three. Okay, well you did three to four. Can you go from four to one? Four to one, from down here to up here. Good. Yeah, look at, see how you made the square? See the little square? Oh, I thought we were learning. Oh. We're supposed to be learning. I don't know if we really like talked about it, but our, our plan is to homeschool Henry. But even still, we're he's like two years away from like really would be officially starting kindergarten. So up until that point, what I really want to focus on is just kind of self-guided play and learning and exploring and just seeing what he's curious and interested in. Not really having a curriculum and kind of jamming it down its throat, but just kind of let, you know, just let free play lead into curiosity and lead into learning and exploration. But I, I, I know that without some kind of structure, we typically end up using the iPad <laughs> or not doing anything very constructive. So, cause I'm new at this, I'm very new at this. If you have any ideas of like little science experiments or little activities around the house, especially with, with the baby coming up, even for my own sanity, finding like other different things to do other than puzzles and I don't know. <laughs> Henry, I figured out what we can do. So do you remember when we got these? Yeah. Do you know what these are for? What do we make with these? They're called popsicles. popsicles. Yeah, and since it's so hot, do you want to make some homemade popsicles? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Popsicles. 
Oh. Yeah, popsicles. Let me just rinse this out really quick. I don't really have a recipe. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. I don't know how much liquid I need to make, but I just realized I can just fill this up six times and then just kind of measure it. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Just so, it can, so we know. This is saying that we are gonna need about, oh perfect, about 300 milliliters of liquid. So, and I'm gonna put the strawberries and blueberries in here. Yeah. Cold. It is cold, yeah. Actually, I just realized, I just realized we don't even need frozen fruit. We can just use regular fruit <laughs> if we're making popsicles. Maybe this will speed up the process. Blueberry. Okay, so there's all of that. We need to add some Greek yogurt into it, okay? I, I want you it. You want to eat this? Yeah. Can you help me pour this in? Pour this in? Yep. While I mix this up, you can eat a little bit more of the yogurt. Yay. Yeah, you can eat that. You can eat a little bit of that yogurt. Yay. Really hard to tell, but that looks like it might be enough. We'll see, okay, Hen? I'm a okay, You hold it, thank you. Oh, I think it'll just be short. Oh, just a little bit short. That's okay, though. Now, I'll, I'll eat that little one. Can you take these little sticks? What I want you to do is take them, and we're just gonna put them right inside like this, Hen. Excellent, Henry. Okay, Daddy's gonna put these in the freezer. All right, we'll put them right there. Let's say, Alexa, set a popsicle timer for three hours. Three hours is past his bedtime. But it's not past my bedtime. So, let's fast forward three hours from now. Whoa, been three hours. I'm gonna test them out. Henry's just went to sleep, so he's gonna, he can try them out tomorrow morning, but I'm a little too excited. I made a yummy dinner and I want something sweet. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Mm, it's a popsicle texture, but not as sweet as I like it to be, so I probably should have added honey. It's still a, a nice little frozen snack on a hot evening, so thanks again, neighbor, for following along this weird adventure today. I know we were kind of all over the place, but thanks for sticking with us. So don't forget to make your own adventure, and we will see you again bright and early tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Hey, Henry. It's Daddy. It's Daddy. Oh, you have a big, oh my gosh, you have a big poop. I can feel it and smell it. Can I change your pull up? Wait, don't sit. <laughs> I'll put you out here. Let me take care of him, and then we'll get back to what we're doing.